This is uh, Victor Kumai from Mary University Center Technology. And I'm a um, second year master's student taking a master's in horticulture. And uh, I'm privileged today to stand in uh, local reach. And my title for presentation is The Effects of Land Preparation Method and Organic Soil Amendment on Growth and Yield of Maize and soil property. Yes, maize is a type of food crop in Kenya, and it's the most popular crop, which its production at an average per year is 3.57 million from the last year, 20, year from the year 2021, which was 12% decrease compared to the previous year. And in my study, we are trying to use the conservation agriculture, which is a type of farming that enhances the minimum soil disturbance or zero tillage to enhance the soil physical properties and increase maize production in arid and semi-arid regions in Kenya. We are using again the flat soldier fly, grass fertilizer, which is a uh, a byproduct of the black soja fly fed with food waste, in which the black soja fly is um, from the it is a species of Amatia elusiens. And also, we are using the biochar, that is the rice as biochar, to improve on the soil physical properties, that is soil bulk density, and also to improve on the moisture holding capacity. That's why we are using the dry kodama to act as a bio -based. The problem here is that uh, continuous tillage under conventional farming has led to the depletion of uh, soil nutrients and also soil physical properties, which has contributed to a decline in maize production in arid and semi arid regions, and also continuous use of synthetic agrochemicals such as fertilizers has also led to a decline in soil biodiversity and also soil chemical property. And the main objective of the study was to determine the effects of land preparation method and organic soil amendment on soil physical properties and also maize growth and yield. The experiments we carried out using two land preparation methods here. You see here we have the zero tillage we just prepared the holes. So we just disturb where we are planting the plants. And here we have the conventional land preparation method, which is normally primary cultivation, secondary cultivation, and also the all those are done. And uh, this one was done in very advanced of science technology, demonstration farm. The layout was a split plot designed with a complete randomized plot design. And uh, the soil moisture we monitored using the soil moisture meter. For the soil bulk density, we use the pouring method. And for the chlorophyll index, we use the chlorophyll spad meter. And for the yield, we use the wing balance to determine the total yields per unit area. In my 3,000 findings, we found that the uh, land preparation method had no significant difference on soil bulk density, but on the amendment of different organic fertilizers or organic manure, that is the black soldier fly first fertilizer, amended with the biochar, there was a decrease in soil bulk density as compared to the controls without any amendment. And uh, the controls and the, amended with the DAP or the CA and this the synthetic chemical fertilizer is normally used under conventional farm. Uh, the soil bulk density was up to six, up to 0 0.9 grams per centimeter cube. But for the case of organic amended, it reduced the bulk density, uh, the soil bulk density up to 0 0.6 grams per centimeter cube. In terms of yield, is that uh, the zero tillage, that is the conservation of agricultural farm farming 
that is the minimum sales disturbance. There was an increase in uh, there was a significant increase in maize yield compared to the conventional land preparation method. For the case of uh, organic amendment, there was an increase maize yield with this is number three, that is the 8.5 tons applied much applied manure recorded the highest followed by the, the synthetic one but for the plastic of the here it was the only fewer plus fly fewer organic as compared to the the, 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 the synthetic uh, fertilizers and the control here without any amendment recorded the least uh, in the amendment of organic grass fertilizer, there was an increase in maize yield of up to 19% as compared to the synthetic or the chemical fertilizers applied. But the case of biota and organic grass fertilizer, they are, it reduces the soil value density up to 0 0.6 grams per centimeter cube. And, uh, from our study, we can recommend that farmers in arid and semi arid regions, part of Kenya, to adopt organic soil amendment, which will help to restore the soil health, the soil health, that is the soil physical property, and also in amending the soil organic amendment, it will help to increase the maize production in arid and semi arid regions. Because Due to climate change, that led to decline in uh, soil physical and chemical properties. So, in amendment of organic amendment, will help to restore the soil biodiversity, the soil physical property, and to increase base production. And it will help to solve, or it will help to solve the SDG number two, number one, that is the zero hunger and. Thank you.